Greetings. I wanted to discuss the TFL muscle and why it gets tight, what it can do to the body and the posture and per perhaps our injury potential. And then three, give you two tips on ways to slowly release that area of the body. So first of all, TFL, where is it, what is it? It's a small little muscle that is underneath the hip bone that also then connects to the IT band muscle that runs down the leg, which then cont uh, controls parts of the knee or is attached to different parts of the knee. So it's all related, all connected, as we know. Uh, so let's go ahead and find it first. So if you wanna do this on yourself, you can come to the top of your hip bone and slowly walk those fingertips down the hip bone till you reach the bottom. You can kind of then slide left and right and it should feel like a little bit of a woohoo, slip and slide left and right. Um, and then take those out to the left or to the outside of your hip just slightly and you'll find this kind of twingy area. So that is around where the TFL is. If you, so what's helpful for me is looking on a diagram so you can look at a picture and also kind of see exactly where it is. It's pretty small, so we we'll want to be specific about it. Okay, so what that can do is it can start to pull, if that's tight, and it pulls on the IT band, it can tug the knee in different directions. It can also cause a, if this is tight, and let's say it's hinged, uh, cinched forward, it can cause the pelvis to reach back in an anterior tilt, thus making us like this, um, which then can further cause low back pain or knee pain or greater risk of injury. So the importance of releasing that muscle, keeping them fluid and stable and uh, viscous and long is important. So let's learn two ways that you can do today to start to release that area. First of all, we'll do a little myofascial release on that area. So taking a tennis ball, the most important part of this is making sure you can stay in your parasympathetic nervous system or your rest and digest calm state. So can be quite intense for people, so making sure you can breathe slowly in and out. We'll find this ball, placing it on that TFL. Might take a moment to find. You'll take that leg nice and straight, so we don't wanna bend it to contract it at all. We wanna keep that leg straight. Place that ball, try to find that little area. You can play with where this foot goes in the back or behind. If you're up on your elbow, keeping your elbow underneath your shoulder, or you can lay all the way down. Ooh, it is definitely tight and you can begin to just rock left and right. You can't slide too much because the ball will boo, slide out. But basically you'll hang out there for several minutes, about two minutes breathing slowly, uh, imagining that area relaxing and expanding. After that, you can grab either a chair, two blocks, anything that you can um, stack to about the height of your hip or a little higher. And then we'll be taking the opposite leg that we just released in front with the uh, blocks on that side. Then you'll take that foot and line it up with the knee so you're on like a tightrope. From here, you'll reach that side, those hips out to the left if you're on that left side and then reach overhead. You can lean against um, these blocks and spend a few minutes breathing into that side, really reaching those hips over, taking deep breaths in and out. So this is a really small muscle. It's hard to find to stretch. This is one stretch that I've found that really does get in there and helps to access and release it. So holding that for about a minute, coming down, and then you can switch sides. Make sure you always do both sides. One sometimes will be tighter than the other, which you could see if that relates to perhaps uh, knee issues that you have on one side. 
Um, but the more that we start to release these things, you might notice differences in your posture and how you feel. So great things to do over time. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have tight TFLs and how that perhaps you think could be affecting your structure. Um, and give this a try and let me know how it goes. All right, y'all. Have a great day.